Hi, I'm gonna try something new today. Uh, with this demo, I'm actually gonna show you my face. So today we're gonna go over uh, a new substrate that I've just discovered, which has been around a while, it's called Clayboard. And I'm really excited to show you this substrate as it, it's really versatile and it's great for mixed media. And I'm gonna show you how to use ink and some scratchboard techniques with it, along with some drawing. So anyway, I hope you enjoy. First things first, a quick list of supplies. Of course, you'll need clay board. I'm using an 11 by 14 sheet. Also, I'm using uh, clay board scratch board tools, but you can use anything that you like. I'm using Noodler inks, uh, blue, red. I'm also gonna be using a black um, and some F&W black and red inks as well. And then of course, I just have a stack of stuff of tools laying beside me that I just reach out and grab. Uh, fountain pens, X-Acto knives, brush pens, anything that I might need. As I mentioned before, I'm new to Clayboard, so here are a few illustrations that I made in the last few weeks. And I've really fallen in love with this substrate, especially since I like to work with ink. So let's start our illustration. And here I'm starting out with my dip pen and I'm using a couple different types of inks. Right now I'm using FW Acrylic Ink and that is by Dollar Rowney. Of course I'm mispronouncing that. But as you can see I'm just kind of working through this uh, with my dip pen and now I've moved on to a brush and it's just, just a, a cheap uh, round brush that I can draw with the ink that I don't have to worry too much about uh, trying to get that ink out of it as you do sometimes with watercolor brushes and I'm going for a kind of a chiaroscuro uh, extreme light and dark uh, feeling for this illustration. The surface of the clay board is very absorbent, so as you can see the ink uh, basically sucks right into that surface pretty quickly and it doesn't really lay very flat, which uh, in the uh, way that I'm using it today it doesn't really bother me because I'm going to be layering some inks on top of this black. So as you can see, again, it is kind of streaky, but it doesn't really concern me because as I just now start to lay in my inks, I'm going to be basically... Uh, multiplying and layering those colors on top of one another to build up the effects that I want to achieve. I should mention the colored inks that I'm using are made by Noodler's Ink. I've talked about those in a previous uh, demo. And the black that I'll be using a little bit later is the um, American Eel. And I'm also using, as I mentioned, FW black and I'm also going to be using a little bit later an FW red as well. So this is a very limited color palette for this illustration. And as you can see now I'm starting to go in with my scratchboard tools and pull out some of those whites and lighter areas and carving away the highlights. And uh, right now I'm using a, a tool that was actually made by Clayboard, uh, folks at Ampersand Art. But uh, I've also used X-Acto knives, any other kind of uh, linoleum block knives, things like that uh, will work. This uh, bit on this or the, the, the nib on this tool works really well. I'm also now using a kind of a fine sanding tool that can kind of go in and uh, refine some of those edges and make them a little more softer and feather them out. And you'll also see me kind of going back and forth with some other tools as well and I'll call those out a little bit later in the demo to kind of uh, show you where those are. But again these are tools that are made by uh, Ampersand Art who makes clayboard but any scratchboard tools would work. I'm also going back in a little bit with some um, steel wool and you'll also see a sanding block come out as well uh, that you use for a traditional paint job on your wall.
I'm also going to go back in with some uh, brush pens with some of the Noodler's Ink Black Eel and knock in uh, some of my dark areas that I've lost as I scratch them away. So you'll see me go back and forth as I work through the illustration. just a uh, wire brush that's all bent up uh, and it basically is great for highlighting hair and doing some irregular strokes and now I'm going back in with my ink and my scratch board tools and just kind of going back and forth and working those areas until I'm happy with them. washing in some more color with the blues and the reds just kind of uh, working around the whole image seeing what I've uh, in some cases taken too much material away so I'm gonna go add some more color some more um, intensity to those areas as well that I've placed a piece of paper, just a scrap piece of paper under my hand because I've noticed I've started dragging some of the ink around on that surface. Um, in the past I've used a little wooden bridge, if you will, that you can, can prop up over your artwork. In this case I didn't have one available, so I'm just using a piece of paper to keep my hand from dragging into that ink that might pick up and move into the other parts of the illustration. knocking in some really black blacks and bring up some of that uh, contrast for the image. So I'm going to be starting to layer in blacks and some more color to, to, to really play up uh, the high uh, light source feeling. Now I'm going back in, as I mentioned earlier, with some FW acrylic ink, which is a little bit more opaque uh, on top of these other inks. I'm just kind of going back and forth and painting on that surface. Rubbing in some inks on top with some paper towel, I'm just kind of finishing up the image. Hey 
Hey, thanks for watching and I hope you learned a few things and are gonna get out there and try some clay board and have some fun. All right, thank you. Thank you.